afternoon. Now, this video documentation is in regards to the preface uh, 99 to 01 door E46 headlights. Uh, this actually can be applied to the two doors as long as for the preface model. Uh, I understand that uh, the unit that you purchased actually has the bi -Xenon functions, which we've activated for you to use. So I understand in your report you're mentioning that initially they intermittently work, but now that they're no longer working. So there's a few connections that I would like to double check, making sure that you have the proper connections for and contact points. Uh, being the case, uh, all these headlights are pre-tested before they leave our warehouse. So this headlight is actually the, the same models that you have. They have the bi -Xenon shutter mechanism for the low beam, uh, which I'll be showing you right now. Um, unfortunately, I can't show them to you right now in terms of the beam app because I don't have an HID bulb in there, but via uh, sound you can hear the shutter click on and off, which signifies to me that the shutter is working with no issues. So hopefully in the video that you can kind of hear out for this clicking mechanism sound, which uh, that is an indication for the shutter being activated. So bear with me, um, I actually wired everything so everything is grounded properly and all I need to do is uh, touch my positive lead to activate the shutter, so kind of giving a very logical breakdown. This is actually a low beam plug, which uh, in the documentation I've seen that you connected properly. So again, this actually should be your factory low beam, which is the, the, the gray connector. I believe it's a yellow and brown wire, but however, the 9006 connector needs to go on here. For this instance, I'm just showing the shutter being activated. So what I've done with this red wire is grounded. I've grounded this wire so that the shutter can be activated. So I actually have a power supply right here that I'm using my test lease to show this function for you. So um, I'll go ahead and do that right now. So power unit on. Right now, from this harness that comes down, I know the 9006 factory goes here. Pretty much this runs to your ballast, and this gets plugged here, so everything gets routed in the headlights. So this white wire that's stemming across from this sheathing is actually the shutter wire. From your setup, the shutter wire should have a wire leading to the, the hiding wire, which is actually an extended wire, to be tapped with the hiding wire. I'll go ahead and show this briefly uh, in a few minutes, but right now I'm just showing the shutter how it works normally. So with the power supply on, this is actually my positive need lead. I've actually grounded mine with the Lobin connector. So all I needed to do is touch these together and you'll hear it clicking with the shutter sounds. Hopefully uh, that hears through the camera. Do you hear this clicking sound? That's actually your low beam shutter mechanism uh, dropping down and line more lights from the Lobin projector. Alright, that being said, uh, I'll move forward in regards to how your setup should be, which uh, you should be able to follow me uh, with me, being the case uh, from what I reviewed, uh, your connections did look like that. This is actually your uh, halogen high beam, which the 9005 connector you'll pretty much uh, uh, connect to here. However, with your setup, I completely understand that since we have activated the bi -Xenon shutter, what yours is going to be looking like will be something like this. So this, imagine this socket already inserted in this headlight. In place of it, there's already a connector there. So that connector will leave a free connector for you connect your stock factory 9005 connector, which I believe that you've done. So here's a key part where I need you to kind of concentrate and look at making sure that there's no connectivity issue between these two wires coming in con contact together. So bear with me. Imagine that this socket is already installed in your uh, headlights. I'm only having a spare as more of a visual reference, so it's a lot easier for you to follow with me. All right, so with this 9005 connector that's already connected to the, the halogen high beam, this wire should actually have another wire joining to it. So imagine this alligator clamp as that extra wire that's already braided or tapped to it. So I'll go ahead and do that for this example right now. So in this sense you have a wire stemming out from it. And then it goes, that wire will lead to your this white connector right here. This white uh, wire. So again you, sh you should have from this 9005 extended connector a wire stemming out and that wire reaching to the bi -Xenon shutter. So this is the part that I'm wondering if you're losing contact. If that's the case, all it needs to be is kind of um, maneuvering the wire, kind of repairing by like cleaning it up, and that way you got proper contact going to the points, no problem. So I'll show you in a sense that when you trigger your high beams, whether it be your pull forward flash, push forward stay on, you should actually have the high beam halogen bulb turn on, along with the low beam shutter activated, and you'll hear the click and the low beam output pretty much uh, dropping up to allow more lights to shine through. So here's pretty much, a, a, I guess, the, the, the tip in motion with me bench testing it to show you, uh, better show you what I'm uh, mentioning about. So one more time, your low beam connector will ground it for you, so no problem. As long as you have the low beams working, this should be grounded already for you. So since I don't have a grounding right here, I'll create a new grounding uh, for it. 
So I'm carefully looking at this wire configuration. Halogen bulb is not polarity sensitive, so I don't need to worry too much. However, this bi-xenon wire is polarity sensitive, so that's one thing I want to make sure to look out for. This is a positive wire. So amongst this, you'll see a wire being tapped. You want to make sure that this wire that's been tapped is your positive wire. So again, if looking at plane, I know that this side is going to be my grounding negative. So I'll go ahead and ground this pin size. There's two pins in right here. I'll go ahead and ground the pin to the left. Why? Again, this is not tapped, so I'm assuming that this is my grounding negative. And the thing that's been tapped is my positive. So that's being done. So in a sense, when you're connecting your connector, that's one thing I want to make sure you, you, you check to see. If that high beam connector has a, what is it, um, a black wire or brown wire, that's most likely your grounding negative. Make sure you have the orientation of that correct, because this will matter. It won't matter for your halogen bulb, it will matter for the bi-zeon fu uh, function though. So, again, you can pretend me turning on is activating the high beam, because I'm using this as a 12 volt power supply, and then these green, yellow connectors are your high beam factory connectors that you've already connected. Again, key point, make sure that you got the polarity on this correct, otherwise this whole system for the high beam by Xenon will not work. So you're imagining this is already inserted in there, but I'm pulling it out for the sake of the demonstration. So connection, see right here, I have wire stemming to the positive function, so in a sense when I turn on this power supply, I should see the halogen bulb light up, also I should hear the uh, shutter mechanism uh, pretty much clicking on, which in your case you should see the HID bulb pretty much extending to shoot further down the road. So I'll demonstrate that right now for you. So no problem, right? You see the housing bolt turn on? One more time, turn it off. You'll hear the shutter click on. That shutter did click on right now. So this is pretty much how, in a sense, uh, an overview of the high beam wiring system and then the bi -xenon activation. So uh, I do strongly recommend for you to take the time, retrace your wires to see where you lose contact. If it's the case of polarity, just like your ballast, make sure that the, this connector, which Originally, it shouldn't matter if it's just a halogen hyphen bulb, but since you have your hat headlights activated with the bi-xenon shutter, you must ensure that this is poli uh, polarity uh, correct. Uh, so again, one more time, the wire that's been tapped, that's your positive. The wire that doesn't have tap, that's your negative. So make sure that the orientation of your 9005 factory connector for your halogen hyphen is correct. So hopefully this provides, a, I guess, a a better interpretation of what we're asking for the double check and uh, please update us in regards to your finding. Thank you so much for your time.